right, DC, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that through hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now and in those fights why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proving ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime, to your point, in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Free for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, so here we go from Team Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, and the home to the biggest UFC fight. Right now, international fight week, the championship fight all across the board. We come to T-Mobile. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Big shot to the head. 
they're showing heat shots here to see who's the last man standing. All right, full guard now, do you see? The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. To try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Big ground and pound. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Kamaru Usman. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Usman. Elbow attack to the body now. Nice shot there by the champ. Getting them out here. Gotta be careful here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Oh, nice. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Fifteen seconds to go. Relentless pressure from the top by Kamaru Usman. Moving his head on the back here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Round two now. Israel Adesanya. And that man, the Nigerian Ready. nightmare, Kamaru and he made good use of it there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Good takedown defense by Israel. Oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. Keep sticking that jab out there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, that kick is goodbye on Sunday. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Adesanya gets caught by the straight punch. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best walkthrough in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. A massive uppercut lane. Right into side control. That was a slick transition. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. 
There it is. Now he's going to bump. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, it looks like he's got that submission locked in. Starting to get deep. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Kamoa. And another one. Another strike from the top. Land for him. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Nice, nicely done. Strike on the ground gets through. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. About two minutes here to go in round three. Change of the position. Usman's right back to the full mount. Oh, good ground and pound here. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, shades of the godfather with a ground and pound. Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Good work, guys. Come on. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Good work from the top here by Usman. Another strike gets through from the top position. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Beautiful work. Awesome work. Your striking's looking great. Gotta keep it up. We know he's gonna come in for the takedown. Okay? 
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's... Oh, Adesanya's getting going now. Oh, nice body shot. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Beautiful transition. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Adesanya. Now he's going full mount. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Loose puts in half guard. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Usman ground and pound from half guard now. All right, feet on the hips here. Under a minute now to go. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Kamaru Usman. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, into the mouth. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Usman. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Excellent. That was beautiful, man. You had him hurt. You should have put him away. He was hurt. He was ready for that final blow. All right. He's probably still hurt. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Tags him with the uppercut. Uh, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure. I'll take your action. Okay. It's okay. You're fine. Let's recompose. Let's get going now. Well, there it is. No surprise here at the broadcast table. Another takedown for his play. That is exactly what we thought was going to happen. One guy securing takedowns, the other guy having to fight off his back and look for opportunities to try and make this fight a stand-up affair. 
Adesanya gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a... How good was that judo toss? Adesanya is able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Late in the fight now, DC, the submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get there. you got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed from the top. It does not matter if you get the guard pass. you got to just start throwing up submissions and hope by causing action you can latch onto something to end the fight. appearing on that left side right now. you got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Hook in the clinch there by Adesanya. Big knee lands there. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. One minute to go in the fight. Here by Usman. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Asanya. All right, well, you've heard Bruce say that before. Israel Adesanya, your winner by decision. Clean, dominant performance. Maybe could have gone for it a little bit more, but it's another green stripe on the Wikipedia page. All he does is win. Israel Adesanya is one of those guys that just knows how to get the job done. And tonight it was decision, but once again, another win for the last style bender.